Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Pouring From Coast to Coast. I am Britt Clayton. You are in my studio here in Houston, Texas, and uh, it is my turn to do my part of our show. So Michelle Galley with Grateful Creations came up with the best idea for the challenge this time, and it was to do a piece kind of in tribute, I guess, to someone that we watched a lot of when we started out doing fluid acrylics. Who did we watch a ton of on YouTube? Um, and that's, we should do a piece in honor of that person. So if you know me, you already know who that is. If you don't know me, I'll tell you, uh, is Kathleen Osmore with Cause Creations. She was just so inspiring to me. Probably her personality had a lot to do with it, but because she loved earth tones and I am from New Mexico, uh, I have Indian heritage and I love earth tones. Um, and there's not a whole lot of people that use them very often. So I just was drawn to her um, because of that. So in remembering watching Kathleen, this was at a time, this was years ago, okay? This was at a time when she was doing a lot of swipes and very cool swipes um, with the paper towel. So I thought, you know what? It has been a minute since I have done one of those swipes with paper towels. So what I did is I went back, like I said, a few years, found a video, and I had never used the palette that she is using in this video. So here's what I'm gonna do. I want you to go back through her videos and find the one that I'm doing and tell me which color I have added to the palette. So five of these colors she already had. I added one just to be different. So if you can tell me which one I added, uh, then I will send you a very cool little prize. And I want you to email me the answer. I don't want people putting the answer in the comments and then other people copying it. Uh, but it's whoever gets emails me the answer first. So my email address is brittclaytondesign at gmail.com. So let's go through our colors really quick. This was one of Kathleen's absolute favorite colors. This is golden iridescent pearl and it is just stunning. I like this because it's a little more white than most pearls. Most pearls have a lot of beige undertones um, and this one really shows up white. So that is why it also became one of my favorites. This is Deco Art Sky Blue Topaz and I've added a little bit of silver to it to make it not so in your face which is what she did in her video. And I'm gonna have to yell at my cat, y'all, because I don't know what he's doing in here. Bubba, get out. So this is my um, acid that I spray at my cats if they happen to come in here. It's just water, but they know when I grab it, they need to run. And that's exactly what he did. Let me get those out of the way. This is, what did I use? This is DecoArt Sterling Silver. And I added two drops of Vivid Intense Carbon Black. I wanted to deepen it. And I'll show you why here in just a second. The next color is one of my absolute favorite turquoise blues in the world. This is DecoArt Extreme Sheen Sapphire such a lovely color and I was really upset when they stopped making this in the jar uh, the Americana so now I have to buy it in the little two ounce bottles which I don't really like 
not my favorite thing to do. This is Deco Art Pewter, which is a beautiful metallic kind of blue gray. Nice, nice color. And finally, this is Deco Art Sterling Silver. And I have added a little bit of Soho Payne's Gray to deepen it up just a little bit. So it's kind of like pewter, but just a deeper shade. And those are our colors, guys. I am pouring on a 15 by 30 gallery wrapped deep edge canvas. And I am raring to go. Ooh, I forgot to show you our base coat. This is our base coat. Let me get a stick here. It is Soho Silver. It's a really nice light silver. So that's gonna be our base coat. And that is why I made that other silver a lot darker because I wanted it to contrast with the base coat. So there you have it. We are gonna do some painting and I'm gonna put on some music and uh, don't forget about the little contest we got going on. So in the video that I went back and found of Kathleen's, I believe it was in 2020, I'll give you a hint. Um, her pouring medium was 50% Floetrol and 50% Golden GAC 800. And GAC is really pricey. Um, so those of you that know her now know that she uses 50% Floetrol and 50% Liquitex pouring medium. So I did not copy the medium uh, in this video, in this piece, um, just because I didn't want to use all my GAC up. So that is why I'm using 50% Floetrol and 50% Liquitex Pouring Medium. Now the first few swipes here, I'm going to keep it at real time so that you can see how slow you really need to go. It's not just a swipe, 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 swipe and you're done. It's a very slow, deliberate swipe um, in order for it to be straight and to keep the paint um, level, balanced all the way across. Um, and you use, I learned this from Cause. you use one hand to pull the paint. And she said the reason is because two hands shake more than one. And that is true. Um, I don't know anybody that can hold their hand perfectly still. So when you swipe, go really slow and deliberate and take your time and just use one hand.
so we've got the base down, the foundation for the painting. We're gonna go back and gosh darn it, I forgot to use the pearl in the first go round of swipes. So I have added the pearl um, to the colors. I didn't use all the colors, but um, I'm gonna go back and kind of create some interest so that it's not just all blah, blah swipes. There's gonna be a little bit of color here. This color there, you can see how the pearl's really standing out. Um, that pearl's gonna create some really cool cells and lacing. But um, yeah, I'm just going through and adding a little bit more interest. So this is the next day after it's dry. And what I'm doing is adding uh, Payne's Gray Primary Elements from Color Art. I've mixed it into a really thick glazing medium. And when you put pigments down like this really thin, they dry super fast. But you can go back and wipe some of it off. And that's kind of what I wanted to do here. I wanted to give it a distressed look. So part of it would wipe off, part of it would stay. It kind of looked broken up, um, which is exactly what I was going for. But I, I did want to get some deeper blue in there, just a little more contrast um, than the silvers and the turquoise. guys um, I painted the sides of my canvas in a solid color I painted them pewter and the painting looks a lot lighter on the wall than it really is I think it's just because of all the silvers in it um, it just makes it look a lot brighter than it really is it's it's truly more of the blues in the last frame uh, when I was adding the pigments um, but it, guys, it turned out so, so pretty. The lacing and the cells that I got um, just really contributed to the overall coolness of this piece, and I love it. So I want to thank Kathleen Osmore for teaching me how to swipe, even though she didn't know she was doing it. Um, girl, I love you. If you have never taken a class with Kathleen Osmore, you are missing out because she is really bossy. On to my friend Teneva Baker's channel. I will meet you over there. Last one there's Rotten Egg.